welcome back to the Jay's channel. I now have a black eye. Now that that's out of the way and we can move on, let's move on. Why and share with me today. I have been obsessed with barn find vintage cars since I was a kid and my buddy and I found his dad's old Porsche in an old barn style garage and we'd get in it, we'd play with it and he also had a super old Jag. And because of that, I'm really obsessed with these cars. And I found one and I talked to the owner but it's not possible on this one, but let me show this one to you. I have been obsessed with this Mustang for a few months driving by this house. And he's not willing to part with her, and I totally understand why. So I'm gonna go do some service. We've got couches in the back of the truck right now, and we are gonna go do some service for a cousin of ours and hook him up with some free couches. But then after that, we're gonna go somewhere, boys. Yes. We went to our cousins, we got rid of the couches in the back, and now we are here. It isn't quite a barn, but it is enormous, and we're in Las Vegas. So we're gonna go into this place and see if they have some treasures that we can take a look at. You guys wanna go? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's do this. All right, boys, what kind of cars are you interested in? Um, fast cars. Yeah. Fast cars, that's all you care about? So uh, I, have an affinity for anything that was Shelby. So Carol Shelby was an old American race car driver, um, created a company called Shelby American. He made something called a Daytona Coupe. He made the Cobra. Then Ford tapped him and had him help them beat out Ferrari by making the GT40. So I love the 60s. Cars in the 60s, I love them. I'm in heaven, you guys. Look at these things. Look at this Firebird, right? Come on, I am in heaven. This is what I drove. Oh my goodness, don't touch it. Is it a 57? It is. You guys, I, I have been in this car. Oh my, this is way nicer than ours though. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, I see. I see what I want right over there, those Mustangs. Okay, we can't get there yet though. Come here. So. Pontiacs, look at all these Trans Ams. Mm. Look at these things, these Firebirds, these Trans Ams. Oh my goodness. Mm. You know that's called the Barracuda? Look, look at the front. What is on that hood? It's Barracuda. That oh, is a wow. Barracuda. There's a song about these. It goes, Barracuda. So when I was a kid, you guys, I was obsessed with chopping the top off a car. What that means is, see how this Plymouth? See the top, see? Two pieces of glass for the windshield. Right, and then see the windows? Look at this one. See how much shorter they are? So they literally cut the top of the car off, shrink it down, re-weld everything, and then look at the different look between the two, right? That's the same car? Uh, not the same car, but it's the same body style really? from the 40s. Yeah, these are from the early 40s. They have the first truck I ever learned to drive, really? and it's right in front of us right here. Oh. My goodness, early 70s, probably a 72 Chevy. Oh, hey boys, a farm in Canada. Picture me sitting, having stuff on my shoes in this thing, bales of hay in the back, and grandpa teaching me how to drive through this. Let me guess. Boom, 72. Look how cool these old trucks are. All right, you guys, the time is now though. It's time to go look at the Mustangs. This is what we got to do. This is what I came to look at. Cobras and Mustangs. Hey boys, so here's the difference. Look at the one to the left, or to the right, and the one to the left. Same year, same car, but this guy turned his into a race car, and this one is mostly original, right? So the inside of this one Right, it's got all this really nice 
Actually, they, they absolutely reupholstered it. But that guy, look at the roll cage in there, Wyatt. Yeah. See the roll cage, the racing seats, the new scoop in the front. He's got a rebuild engine. So this is actually super cool. This is a 68. This is one they call the California Special, right? New nostrils, but they're backwards a little bit. And then here's the front end of this Shelby. So this is a 67 Shelby GT. Oh, it is GT 350. But this guy went bananas on it. New racing seats, all Shelby interior. Look, he's, it's even been totally updated. This is my dream car. Look at this thing. Signed by Carroll Shelby himself. Oh. I've chosen some of my favorites and I've chosen my favorite. Now it's time to go talk to the sales manager about it. What do you boys think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta put our mask back on and go in the sales office. All right, so the process is a little different than I thought. He gave some cool posters to the boys. So he is now contacting the owner of a specific car and we will have to wait a few days for them to get back to us on their interest and we can then bring one of these bad boys home. What do you think, Wyatt? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Are you excited, Shay? Yeah. All right, now we gotta wait. Oh. Left the classic car museum slash consignment lot Things are just so dang expensive. I needed to call a professional. And when I say a professional, I mean the professional, Mr. Johnny Tanner. Finding the cheaper cars. Yes, and finding a better buy. You need to find the expensive ones. Yeah. They're everywhere. But no, these ones, you need to find the good buy. So now we're gonna go and find one that costs, what, 20% what the exact same one in that consignment lot was selling for because it's not all dressed up like those ones. All right, so we went straight into driving this blue beast down a country road, man. That's, that's why we buy these. And if they don't, I don't know what they love. That is incredible sound. So now Johnny's gonna take it for a spin. I drove it all the way out to this country road. He's gonna give it for a spin, but look at this paint job. That blue is insane. location. Johnny and I looked at this last car. Misha and Wyatt looked at that whole lot of the earlier cars and now I think we've actually narrowed it down to this next car. So stay tuned to be continued. Next video we're gonna purchase the car and drive it home and then see all the stuff we have to work on, all the stuff we have to rip out of it. So thank you guys for watching this one. Click any of these other videos here and here of our other crazy adventures. Stay tuned for what's next. Thanks.